Hey, what's up guys? Max Van Gelly here and today we're going to talk about the importance of ear candy. Do you guys ever hear your favorite producers make a couple of tweaks to certain vocals or leads and something in the headphones when you're listening to just makes this massive magical difference and that's what's something that we're going to be diving into today in Ableton, implementing Max for Live. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's dive in. We're going to be using a track from one of our academy members who's inside the six month challenge. It's a program that we do extensively with our No Face Academy members where we basically take their music, really finesse it, uh, take it to the next level, uh, go through weekly extensive courses to see where they're at. This is draft one. It's super rough. Uh, I want you guys not to absolutely pay attention to the mixing or anything like that we're just getting started on his track i got the stems here and, and let me show you the trick that we are going to be looking at so here's the track real quick really rough <laughs> So yeah, like I said, super rough. Don't mind the mix down. Don't mind the balancing. Uh, the focus that we're going to be taking a look at here is the vocal, uh, which is obviously the key factor here. It's probably almost like technically like the lead sound, even though we do have a lead sound. And what I want to dive in here is taking a look at take a look at the vocals. So let's go ahead and look at these vocals here. And let me solo the vocals and take off the chain that I created here uh, with Michael uh, for his track uh, using Max Live. So this is the vocal. Really cool vocals, uh, really, really cool, um, really kind of adds a lot to the track. So what I want to show you guys is something that a lot of uh, producers are not really implementing. Since this is not really like a like a full on lead vocal where you have like a proper hook because it's like more of like kind of like an on the surface type of a vocal so you can really play around with it and make it super interesting and special so since the vocal is interesting enough don't get me wrong but sometimes it tends to get a little stale and boring so what we did here is I'm gonna turn on this whole chain here and I'm gonna go one by one and explain to you what I did here just so you guys can hear the interesting effects that were added now so check it out Hello. Hello. So uh, let's focus on this first half uh, over here. You guys probably heard it. It's You almost are getting that little um, kind of like a Don Diablo type of an effect on the vocals, which is randomly automating the pan over here and uh, creating this movement essentially. So let's listen to it again real quick. Okay, so these kind of subtle movements that are being created here are is the reason why a lot of times, you know, sometimes you listen to some one of your favorite tracks of, from one of your favorite producers and it just sounds absolutely incredible, you know, it sounds big, it sounds amazing and uh, and you can't figure out why does it sound so great uh, and these can uh, this kind of like ear candy stuff essentially and this is exactly what's happening here so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of mimic uh, the same thing with a new channel just so you guys can see how we do this from scratch and I'm going to open up a new audio channel and I'm gonna literally drop the vocal here so you guys can see the step-by-step -step process and there is no set way to do this. You can randomly um, create this uh, chain with all sorts of different cool things. 
and uh, I'm gonna go through it here, and then you guys will understand what I'm talking about. So first things first, you know, you wanna cut those, you wanna cut those lows on a vocal. <laughs> Okay, so we cleaned it up a bit and up next we are going to open up this thing called auto pan one of my favorite plugins and what you're going to do is you're going to right click here and you're going to create a group with auto pan okay and you're going to open up this chain right here and you're going to click on this and you're going to option drag and drop auto pan again you can literally do it from here or you could just drag and drop it so now you have two channels essentially so we're going to go, we're going to go ahead and rename this called dry and we're going to rename this wet okay so what you can solo these essentially right now they're identical so what we're going to do with wet the first thing we're going to do is we are going to dry and uh, drop an eq any eq i mean ableton eq obviously it has to be ableton uh and you are going to drop the ableton eq on the wet signal and let's solo this and what we're going to do is we're going to low cut this and then we are going to high cut this and kind of create like a like a like a mid-range here listen to this solo <laughs> Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So now what we're going to do is automate the pan of the mid-range left to right, essentially, in a really, really interesting way. You could do it literally like this. So drastic. So that's option number one. Option number two, what I like to do is where you dive into more cool and depth stuff. You go into Ableton Live's Max for Life. It's here. It's completely free. If you don't have some of these, you can download them by going to Max for Life right here, which is super dope. And you're going to go ahead and grab the LFO, drop it right in front right here. And it's super easy. And you can automate anything with this LFO. So what I like to do is... You go to this, you go, you click on map, and then you're going to do the amount. And look what it's doing. And you're going to basically, however you want it, you know, maybe very, you want to make it very subtle. Very subtle, essentially. Okay, so let's check this out now. Okay, so you got to understand that this is only, you're only basically creating movement in this region right here. So on the dry signal, we have the full blast essentially. So what you want to do is possibly, if you want to get really, really uh, strategic with it, you want to take this region and probably maybe take an EQ and... Uh, shave this region off right here maybe uh just kind of look and see where you're sitting at we're looking at this section right here and basically you want to be looking at anywhere from yeah let's say 300 hertz you can see it right here from 300 hertz to about I don't know, maybe 1K, let's say that's the peak that we want to kind of shave. You can leave it. I like to stack it sometimes since it's automating it. It's not getting in the way. It's not a problem. If you want to clean it, you can clean it a bit. Uh, but it's just kind of use your ear for that. We're going to keep this section dry. So listen to them together. <laughs> So this, this mid frequency is playing in your ears left and right and making this awesome, awesome automation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go a step further and we're going to actually uh, 
add another LFO from the Max for Life just to get creative because you can get you can go crazy with this thing so you're going to drop another max for life lfo and this time around let's say for example we are going to uh automate uh, the rate a little bit and we're gonna map this and we're gonna put it on a rate and we're going to look what it's doing this is this is some cool cool stuff and we're going to basically slow this down slow this down so this let's solo this now okay and don't forget that we got that dry so listen to it together I mean, and it just sounds amazing. So then together you get. Incredible stuff. These small details is what really makes a difference, guys. So if you got Ableton, grab Max for Life, implement this effect. It's going to make a massive difference for your guys' vocals in a very, very creative way. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If this was helpful, be sure to join the No Face Academy where we're going through a lot of the stuff. We're doing a lot of one-on-ones uh, with our uh, students and our students have been elevating, signing to some of the biggest labels around the world. You know, some of the biggest uh, artists around the world have been supporting our artists uh, in their DJ sets and we've just been elevating the next generation of uh, producers and uh, you know you can grab your seven day trial uh, check it out sign up we got a lot of more a lot more tutorials like that in the academy that are really helping out and then yeah other than that just stay creative of course uh, and uh, be sure to you know test uh, trial and test and tweak and all day long that's what it really takes to figure out these like really cool ways of you know, being creative with your music. And uh, don't forget to follow, drop a comment, let us know what you think. And if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Peace.